The Linux system you'll connect to will be a virtual machine running on VirtualBox. So what is VirtualBox? It's free software that lets you run multiple operating systems within an application on your existing computer. It's available for Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, and Solaris. That covers any operating system you're likely to be using. Once you've tried a virtual environment, installing on hardware seems slow and painful. Many server infrastructures are virtualized, running on VMware ESXi, Microsoft Hyper-V, or are in the cloud on Amazon Web Services, DigitalOcean, or a similar provider. Taking a moment now to learn VirtualBox increases your options for trying new operating systems and practicing new things yourself and can make using virtualization software at work more understandable. The operating system you install the downloaded VirtualBox software to is called the host. The systems you install are called virtual machines or guests. Virtual machines are often abbreviated as VMs. So let's get VirtualBox installed. Download the appropriate package for your operating system from virtualbox.org slash wiki slash slash downloads. Once it's downloaded, browse to the file. It will probably be in your downloads folder unless you typically download to another location or moved it. I'm showing the steps for Mac OS X here, but it will be similar for other operating systems. For Mac OS X, double-click on the VirtualBox DMG file to start the installation process. Your Mac will verify the integrity of the downloaded file. The VirtualBox installation window will open. Double-click on the VirtualBox.pkg file. Your system will, will verify the integrity of the VirtualBox.pkg file. A window will open asking you to run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Click on Continue to continue the installation. In the Install Oracle VM VirtualBox window, click on Continue. Enter your username and password if prompted, then click Install Software. The installation was successful, click on Close to close the installer window. Under number 2 in the VirtualBox window, double-click on the Applications folder to open it and browse to VirtualBox. Double-click on VirtualBox to launch it. You can also launch it from Launchpad. For Windows, double-click the executable you downloaded and follow the default installation prompts. Then open it as you would any other application. On a Windows install, consider right-clicking the downloaded executable and installing it as administrator. I haven't had it happen myself, but I had one student report a grayed-out permission when he was trying to select a certain network setting. Installing as administrator will minimize your chances of encountering this error. You'll see how to install new virtual machines and work with them